talking to Chiara Clemente, documentary filmmaker who now has a new series on the Sundance Channel called Beginnings, where she interviews creative people this round in Paris about what inspires them. She did a series a couple years ago in New York uh, where she interviewed people like Mario Sorrente and Caroline Herrera. Who did you interview this time, Chiara? We had uh, Christian Louboutin, shoemaker of course, yes. uh, Frederick Mal, perfume, uh, Marjane Satrapi, illustrator and director, Sylvia Whitman, bookseller, Shakespeare and Company, and Charlotte Gainsbourg, actress and singer. Great. Um, out of all these people, did anybody, did you walk away with anything that they told you that was surprising? Like any advice or any stories about what inspired them that really surprised you or stayed with you? Well, I think with all my subjects, whenever I film, there's so much that's left with me, and I hope this comes across to the viewers. Mm -hmm. I think in beginnings in general with the series, it's just amazing how early everyone got started, how early things informed them, and I think that's incredible because I think when we see children, we might think, oh, it's just something they're doing, but it does is such a big part of what they will become. Yeah, I saw Marjan Satrapi, who is the author of Persopolis, the illustrator behind that story, how she escaped the Iranian, Iranian Revolution, how she said that it's something she has to do. It's, it's not even a choice. Um, you know, her art and her drawing, it's, it's something that's with her. Is that, that what you're referring to? Yes, well with each one it's really obviously a calling and a passion and it's hard work and they really believe in what they do and each one really leaves you with that. How about your, yourself? I mean, did you see yourself as a young filmmaker? Were you running around, you know, Italy and New York with a, a little camera talking to people? or? Yeah, well I started at 12 really wanting to tell films. I mean, I, I was wanting to tell stories before that and really loved, had a passion for storytelling and wanted to do it in a more visual way. So I got a video camera and haven't stopped since, I guess. So you got a video camera at 12? Yes, a high eight, but in don't tell. <laughs> okay, won't tell anybody. Um, and also, what advice do you have have Chiara for uh, female documentary filmmakers just coming out of the box who want to do what you do? I think in general women filmmakers need to you know obviously believe in themselves as all artists and you know be determined and not let people shoot you down. Obviously you know there's a lot of men doing it but there's a lot of us as well and we're gonna just become more and more and more. That's fantastic. You do find that it's harder for women though. Yeah, it's a bit of a boys game. You have to speak up a bit more, like, you know, what... Well, the thing is that you have to speak up, but then if you don't speak up as strongly, just find a way for your voice to come across. And for me, with beginnings and all my films, it's really about my soft-spoken voice that lets people become comfortable. Incredible. And is there anybody, if you're dream list, give me two people you want to interview next or focus on next. Anybody? I won't give you people, but I'll give you cities. I really want to do Tokyo next. I think Japan would be amazing. It's a New York, Paris, Japan would be such a full story. Terrific. And this is this series beginning. It's going to be running on Sundance for the next several months. Catch it. It's fantastic. Thank you, Kiara.